Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This is going to be a little bit about the intersect tool. Somebody contacted me today and asked how they could make a font like kind of with a sloping line and have two different colors. Well, the first way you could do it is just left click, right click and have an outline. And then you could take the three point curve line and say start there and go all the way over there. I'm just holding down the left mouse button and then holding down the control button so it's perfect. You can put it anywhere you want in here. Now you'd have to use a smart fill tool and fill in these spots individually. And there's actually probably a quicker way. You could probably uh, take this now and maybe make it red. There you go. You don't have to fill in the other part. And then just take your line away. But uh, the intersect tool will kind of do the same thing. <clears throat> Might even be a little quicker. Don't have to turn it into a, a outline. Let's just make a rectangle and then take the shape. Well, go ahead and turn that rectangle into a curve. Take the shape tool and select these two nodes, right click and turn them into a curve and then just unclick and then grab in the middle somewhere and just make you a curve line. Now you'd probably want to move the whole thing down to do about the same thing we did. I'm going to make it almost look identical. I'm going to put that right in the middle of the C. Now you could grab it all and go to the intersect tool and intersect it. And then you can make that one green and click on that one and make it red because you've intersected. Now the, the difference is there's actually a red on top bottom of that where this one there's not. I don't know about printing, but I'm pretty sure the, the green would overtake. So you could do it this way, but the intersect tool is a pretty good tool. I mean, you don't have to, you know, make it with an arc. You could just draw a, you know, if you just wanted two different color lines, just draw a rectangle. You don't have to convert it to a curve and then do the same thing with the intersect tool and then turn the intersect green and take the font and turn it red and then get rid of your, that's a pretty cool way to make a font kind of stand out. I hope that helped them a little bit.